I, Salon, who am the owner and manager of Somerville County Salon, and who post with the picture here, as you see, of a female with a dinosaur head behind her, and the name Salon and the date, wrote a post that was about the 501A slush fund. I want to show what the difference is between a screen capture and a screen scrape. Notice I'm looking right now at the actual internet page. You see the design elements around this? There's a border around the post. My picture is positioned in a certain place. There's other pictures on the page that are in certain locations and so forth. So here is what a screen capture looks like, which is done by doing a control print screen. Notice that it looks exactly like what the page does. Things don't move in any way, and so you're getting essentially a visual representation of exactly what a page looked like at a given time. Now let's see what a screen scrape looks like. To start with, when I first wrote this post, I didn't have what's called an overtitle, which was the overtitle in red that you see up here. So we're going to start by doing a screen scrape with this. So now I have selected this page. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to come over here to Word. Do a paste. Notice that when I do this, the pictures are no longer positioned in the same way that a screen capture is. And the picture is gone. My avatar picture of me with the dinosaur is gone. Why is that? It's because it actually wasn't selected in that screen grab, the screen scrape that was done with the mouse. I added, within the next week or so, this overtitle. So let's start from here, and let's select down. And then we'll do a copy. Let's come over here. And we'll just do a paste. And let's come up and look. And now you see the picture. So in the first instance that started with the um, regular title or the header, there is no picture, but there is the indication of who actually did it. It's just that the picture didn't come over. In the second instance, starting at the top, it actually did grab the picture. Now, compared to the Exhibit A that shows the shame on you, Chip Harrison, you like GRMC operating an illegal slush fund and is missing the picture, but it does have Salon underneath it. You can clearly see from this picture here that this is not a screen capture, but a screen grab. In the second instance, you can see the picture where it does show that they started out from my over title, why would Andy would want, etc., which then did grab the picture and put in the information. If you look at the particular post, and I'm gonna read part of it here. It says, I guess Ron Hankins believes in censorship since he sure didn't wanna hear about how GRMC has been breaking its own agreement to properly monitor and have accountable funds that the 501A doctors have to ask for since they are not part of GRMC, but a separate organization. Don't believe me? Go watch this video and see Mr. Hankins nodding his head like a stuffed dog in the back car window while the auditor explains just what the 501A is. The comment about go watch this video is referring to a link in which I personally recorded the Somerville County Commissioner's Court about six years ago in which the auditor explained what the function of the hospital or Commissioner's Court was in relation to the 501A. This is a pretty clumsy attempt to show evidence that is wrong because the person that did it doesn't really understand how computer screen grabs versus screen captures work.